with another video. I know I did my deep conditioning video um, a few videos ago where I did put in my uh, Queen Helen deep conditioning cream. I do like to apply that with my deep conditioner when I do my deep conditioners every week. So now I want to show you how I do my once a month protein treatment. This is not my favorite thing to do, but it is the best thing for my hair. So jumping right in right now, my hair is dirty, it's oily. I did do a pre-poo last night. So I'm going to detangle it all first. I'm gonna put it in four sections, detangle it, and then I'm going to wash it first, clarify it, and then start my process. So my process is a five-step process. The first thing I do after I detangle my hair, and I only finger detangle before I wash, I'm go I start with the um, Afog shampoo for damaged hair, and I only run this through my hair one time, just one wash because it strips everything out of my hair. So I usually wash my hair in two sections, um, straight down the middle, in two in two sections. So I'll wash it in two sections. When I'm fin finished, I'll um, use the Afog two-step protein treatment, um, which I'll put it in an applicator bottle that I that I have. I usually put it in the applicator bottle, so I'll show you how I do that. So that's my step two. My step three is going to be the balancing moisturizer. I'll ap apply this to my hair again in four sections um, after my protein treatment, which I'll show you how I do that. And then my step four is my Moroccan oil deep conditioning mask. Um, this mask here is my ultimate, one of my ultimate favorite deep conditioning masks. I actually only use this when I do my protein treatments. Um, I've used it once. It usually only usually lasts two two uses, so I have a half of a jar here. This thing smells so good. The smell lasts forever. So what I'll do is I'll put this in a bowl. And then I usually put about five drops of the Moroccan oil treatment in with it, mix it up in a bowl, and then I'll actually heat it in the microwave for 30 minutes. I'm sorry, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Um, again, my hair is low porosity, so heat up makes the moisture lock in better. So that's my step four. And then of course, when I'm finished with my deep conditioning, I will just go in with my um, Apple G Green Tea Keratin Reconstructor and my Shea Moisturizer Transitioning Milk. So those are my five steps and I'll break each one down to you as I go. So I'm gonna go ahead now and just put my hair in two sections. And one section I'll, at a time, I'll go ahead and finger detangle and I will go in with the Afog shampoo for damaged hair. And then I'll be back to show you how I apply the two-step protein treatment. See you guys soon. Okay, I'm back. So I finished washing my hair. I finished step one. I've already started step two with the Afog protein treatment. I did the, these three sections, so I'm gonna show you how I apply it while my hair is still wet. So you wanna apply it when your hair is still wet. I have a little bit left in the container, just enough for this section. So I'm gonna just start. I always start around my edges. It gets really messy, so again, this is why it's not one of my favorite things to do, and the smell is horrible. It's like one of those things where you know how some of the things that you have to eat that's good for you doesn't taste good. But this is one of the things that it's good for your hair, but it doesn't smell the best. So with this protein treatment, I'll go under the dryer until it dries. Normally when it dries, it's going to get very hard like a rock. It dries like a rock, it's very hard, so you have to be very, very gentle with your hair at that point. You don't want to use a comb when you're applying this protein because again, your hair is already stripped from all the moisture and it's now going into a state where it's going to get really, really hard. So I just go ahead and kind of rub it in. It's very messy, so if it sticks, gets on your ears, on your face, it's going to stick when your hair dries. So I just apply, apply it in and then I'll just split it. 
And again, just try to be as gentle as you can. Grab some on there. And then I'll just let it go on my hair straight down. And I'll just rub it in. And again, as you've seen the information before on the previous screen, you'll see the benefits of protein treatment. A lot of people like to make their own protein treatments with egg, mayonnaise. They try to make their own um, protein treatment that's better for their hair. I don't too much like to make my own mixture for protein. I've always used Afro-G and um, it has all the ingredients in, in it to bring your hair back to its normal pH balance. We apply so many different chemicals in our hair, so over time, especially when you're moisturizing and sealing, you, know, you need that protein to give that hair the strength it needs. It eliminates all the breakage and puts that shine back in. So the protein is a very big benefit to your hair especially for people that are noticing a lot of breakage or shedding. It could be because your pH balance is off in your hair and you just need to add a little protein to strengthen it and to stabilize those pH levels. So I normally do mine. You're supposed to do it six to eight, every six to eight, eight weeks. But again, you know me, listen to your hair. I like to do mine every month around the first so I don't forget to do my protein treatments but if my hair doesn't need it I'll I won't do it I'll just wait until I know it it needs it and again you you'll know when your hair needs that protein because your hair starts getting very stringy it starts acting like a rubber band it's just not strong whenever you do to it you can feel it's very very flimsy so you'll know when your hair needs that protein and I always like to go in with that deep conditioner. You know me, I love my deep conditioners afterwards because it puts the moisture back in. The first step, the damaging shampoo, it strips your hair of everything. So there's no moisture in it. That's why I like to do the pre-poos before I do it. And I'll do a video on how I pre-poo my hair. So it strips your hair, but again, that's the process of stabilizing and bringing your pH balance back to normal. So when you're finished with your Afro-G, for me, applying that deep conditioner just helps bring my moisture back in and give it good stability starting brand new for the month. So now that I've applied that section, I like to use the flat clips because I'm going to sit under the dryer and I like for the dryer head to be really close to my head and the big clips are just, they just don't do it. So I like to go in with the flat clip and yeah, I kind of struggle with it a little bit to get it in there the way I want it to hold my hair. So I get that in there. But I'm just gonna make sure I got the very middle section. So this is how it is once I apply the protein and once I'm finished I'll wash my face before I get under the dryer. So this is the four sections of the protein and again I'll sit under the dryer for about 30-45 minutes until it dries. It will be completely hard and then I will rinse it out with some lukewarm water and then I'll get it as cold as I can handle it. And then once I rinse that out, I will come back and we'll proceed to the next step, okay? So I'm back, so I finished doing my, my drying under the dryer. I did it for about 37 minutes. And keep in mind, if you've never used the Apple G Pro products, the, like I said, the protein gets really hard when you are under the dryer and it dries. So don't freak out, once you rinse it out, it'll be nice and soft. I've already did these three sections, so I'm now going to show you how I'm putting the um, Apple G Balancing Moisturizer. 
So I did these three sides. I'm just gonna take my Afro-G now. And I'm just going to now, I'm just gonna apply it straight to my wet hair. Nothing in it. I'm just gonna apply it straight to my hair. And I try to do it in sections so that every strand can be coated with a balancing moisturizer because I want everything to be balanced. I want all the moisture back in my hair. So I just go ahead and make sure I saturate it really good. Okay. Just putting a little bit more in there. Now with the balancing moisturizer, you only have to put it in for about five to seven minutes. I'm gonna put it in for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna put my little clip back in here. So now all four sections, I've only added the Afro-G moisturizer. And I'm going to put this plastic cap over my head. And I'm just going to let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I'll rinse it out and come back and show you how I apply my Moroccan oil mask. Okay, so moving right along to step four, now it's time to put in the deep conditioner. I'm going to <clears throat> do the Moroccan oil intense hydrating mask and the Moroccan oil treatment. Like I said, I usually use about, um, it can get two uses out of it. So this is the last half that I had. I put it in a bowl and I put five drops of the treatment in it and I heated it on 30 seconds. Now keep in mind, you do not have to heat it on 30 seconds. It says nowhere on the jar to heat it for 30 seconds. I just do that for my hair because like I said, with my hair texture, it just absorbs the, the heat better. So um, I went ahead and of course, I've done the, these three sides here and now it's still warm so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I apply it to my hair and again it's a nice creamy texture and it smells so good so moving right along I just add it to my hair on top here I put some on my edges And just that little bit, I'm already able to run my fingers down in my hair. I'm gonna take this a little bit more. And I'll just section one part here. And just add it right here on my roots. Just on my roots. And then I'll take a little bit more and bring it down the rest of my hair shaft so again from root all the way down to my ends my ends and then I'll take the other little half here and add it in here Now it's going and it's, it's so soft my hair is so soft and it smells really good and I can easily just run my fingers down my hair with the conditioner in it so now with this now that I'm all done I'm gonna go ahead and just put a plastic cap over it. Normally with this um, Moroccan oil mask, you only have to leave it on for about five to seven minutes. I am in love with this deep conditioner and I only use it when I do these protein treatments. So I'm going to put my plastic cap back over my hair and I'm going to literally let it sit for about 30 minutes. And then once I rinse it out, I'll come back and show you our fifth and final step. So we'll be back. Okay, so I'm back guys. Last step, it's been a long process. We're almost there. So for the fifth step, we're just going to, everything is clean. Remember our hair is washed. 
we have it deep conditioned we have our protein in there so now we're going we're starting fresh we're starting new so going in just like I would do my LCO method when I moisturize and seal I'm going to start off with my green tea the Afro G restructurizer and I'm going to spray this in my hair first and this is something I do after every single wash so I'm just going to go ahead and spray this in and I get it in there really good Go ahead and blend that on in there and like I said before this protein process is a little bit of work that's why I try to break it down into five easy steps for myself but it's really really beneficial my hair is going to be nice and strong I'll probably wear it in a few twist outs and just let it you know air dry since I do not like any type of heat on there so again I have the green tea spray in there and I'm just going to go in with my Shea Moisture Extra Transitioning Milk and I'm just going to put a very very small dime size, about that big and I do this for each section so I'll go back in and do it for the other three sections the same exact way. I'm going to go ahead and put my bands in and start my tension method. So I can stretch it a little bit like I normally do. So I'll put my bands in, but I'm only going to put it on the top part of my hair because I, I, I'm actually looking for a fluffy look this week. So I'll have a really big twist out going for big waves. So I'll just leave it like this to air dry so I can get my desired style. And that's it that's all you have to do with the protein treatments and like I said before um, there are many many protein treatments out there guys many you do not have to try this one if you're not used to protein treatments I do suggest that you do a little research on it to find out what's good for your hair before you start um, going in messing with any type of protein because protein is very strong um, and it could damage your hair if you're not using it right um, Afro G, I've, I was using since I was relaxed. I've always used it. So for me, I feel like I'm a pro using it, but not everybody is familiar with it. So um, I'll definitely do my research on your hair texture, what kind of hair you have, if you are relaxed, if you are fully um, natural, and go from there. Um, again, there are a lot of DIYs where you can make your own protein. Um, that just does not work for me. I like to have protein that's already made that I know is balanced and um, not just going in making what I want to make. Anything else I'll try to dibble and dabble with, but not with the protein. So again, thank you for tuning into my channel. Um, stay tuned. I have some really, really good videos coming up that will really um, give you some more insight on your hair. And like I always say, pay attention, listen to your hair, and just stay consistent. If you want that healthy hair, stay consistent, and I promise you, you will get your desired look. Until next time, thanks for tuning in.